All right. Sean Archer. Dorian Wolf. No Shane Archibald, because he's a son of a bee. Yep. Burke's been missing in action. Yep, yep. And, uh, you know, we didn't mention this on Inferno. Still no pain layer, still no loco. Yeah, what is up with that? I don't know. They must have quit. They might have. Braddock on his way out to take on Twist for that TV title. Braddock, a former TV title champion himself. I don't, I don't like the odds of what, what this looks like for Twist, to be honest with you. No. Not a fan at all. Man, I'm telling you, I cannot wait until Hell on Halloween. We're not far off. No, we're already the 7th of October. Yes, we are. And the week of, we don't do any chaos or any inferno. Not at all. In fact, going forward, when we have a PLE, we will not have weekly shows that week. No. I like that. I like that a lot. It helps out, yes. I am a fan. That's a lot for us to do in a week. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Yes. You ain't kidding at all. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to so many of those matches. It's gonna be. To the creek. It's gonna be phenomenal. Matter of fact, speaking of phenomenal, I like chicken. To the creek. To the creek. To the creek. Me too. I don't know if they have to do it like Leatherface, Lucius Clay, or why do I keep calling him Lucius Clay? Lucius Crowley. Jason, uh, Kool-Aid Jason? No. Oh. No, no. Butchers are going to stay the Butchers. Is, uh... Seeing Ghostface in there, though. Carnage? Carnage, Frankenstein, Dracula, Pumpkin King, Pinhead. We got Jigsaw. Norman Bates. Norman Bates is in there. Damien Crowley? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we are ready. The Terrifier. I'm, I'm excited. The biggest villain of them all should be in there, too. Jenny from Forrest Gump. Well, speaking of which, she's not in there. Dang it. No, we, we reached out to her, but she was dead. So. Yeah, she. Yeah, she had the. She had the AIDS. She had the AIDS. Don't forget about that 30-man WWE Tag Team Battle Royal to find the new WWE Tag Team Champions I first know. ever. We got some. We got some. We're gonna have to get some honey from yeah. our freaking uh, throat for those two days in a row. You ain't kidding. My goodness. You ain't kidding. We're gonna be calling the action like crazy on those two days. These guys getting ready to square off. Calling for that bell. Let's do it. Then after that, we have all our brand new stuff. I can't wait. Bedlam. It's going to be a great show. Onslaught's going to be a great show. I have, uh, I know you didn't, you didn't know anything about this, but I put up in a petition. Yeah? Uh, not a petition, but just a little uh, note to, uh, why am I drawing a blank here? What's your name? Hey. Oh, nice. Leg drop off the top. Because after Hell and Halloween's over with, two days of that, we're going to be worn out. So yeah, we're, 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 getting, we're starting brand new all over. So the following week, I, I uh, 
proposed that we took the whole week off and got rested up and then started the following Monday. I like that idea. I think that's a good idea. And then, yes, don't you think that would be better? Absolutely, just give time to make the final touches on the sets and, and that'll give everybody, you know, what? It'll be from Saturday to the next Monday. Yeah. So, so you'll have to wait nine days for a show. Eight, nine days. We can do that. Hey, after Hell on Halloween, trust me, you're going to want to watch it more than once. Yeah, so it'll give, it'll give our competitors who just went through hell, literally, Absolutely. a week off, you know? And it'll give us a week off to get oh, everything nice. get oh, everything yeah. prepared. You, Absolutely. What do you mean? You think that's a good idea? Absolutely, I do. I think that's what we should do. Two... Nope, only a two count. And we've, we've already split the roster. As you can see, we got PWA in the ring here. On Inferno, we have WWA. But from my understanding, after Hell on Halloween, it's exclusive. There is no going back and forth between shows. None of the above. So if you're, you know, if you're the PWA champion, you're on the PWA show. Period. The only, the only thing is the TV champion, right? Yep, TV champion's the only one that goes back and forth. That's it. And, from what I understand, like let's say Braddock's WWA and has the belt. If he loses it on a PWA show, he's automatically in the PWA. He doesn't get to go back to the WWA. Oh, and uh, you got to remember too, from what the bylaws that we, re that we uh, read, the uh, that world Cup champion the kid that's coming in. Yep. He, he can go to either brand too. Yes, he can. He's not. He's not either one. Yeah, that's true. He's not WWA or PWA, so he can go to both of them. I'm telling you. And so can the other one. Uh, have you been watching tapes Texas. of this guy? Yeah. I mean, he's debuting tonight. I can't wait. What's crazy about it is the guy doesn't like dominate you, but he never loses. He's undefeated, man. It's like, nuts. Oh, whoa, whoa. Here we go. That's got to be the end of I it. I think it's like he, he's 12 years of being undefeated. Yep. That's craziness, man. 18 world titles that he's never lost. Yeah. There we go. One. Two. two. I have no idea how he kicked out of that one. Yeah. But I'm, I'm excited to see this guy. He's coming out tonight. I want to see if Twist can make it to hell on Halloween with this title. Ooh, very nicely executed. See if somebody else can do something with this besides uh, the former individuals that are carrying it. Yeah, well, yeah. Clutch did a great job with Cl it. Cl Clutch, is, Twist did great. So far, Clutch with. is the best TV champion of all time. Absolutely, he thought he made this belt famous. Absolutely, and Twist, he did great with the cruiserweight belt. But it's time for him to go on to new pastures, and that's what he's doing. I like it. And it's not often. Ooh, there you go. One, two, two. and a kick out. He's. It's not often you get in there with somebody as resilient as Twist. I mean, that guy, I mean, he is a hell of a, a hell of a competitor, but he's resilient at the same time. Oh, yeah. I'm, I've been very impressed with him since his debut. I think he's another one that's going to be, going to be uh, up towards the top for the long haul also. Ooh, talking Braddock, I don't know if that's a smart move. Stopping away, dropping an elbow. Here. Oh, stomps him in the face and busts Braddock wide open. And a knee to the face. He's, he's smart because he's being relentless. Oh, that's what that noise was. Oh. That makes more sense. Looks in. Ooh, misses that leg, the leg drop. drop. Lands right on his butthole. <laughs> Not again, man. <laughs> Come on. Twist him back in. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Dorian? One more butthole. Ooh, look at this. Right at his head. Oh. oh. That's, That's got to be it. Done. Put the butter in the refrigerator. One, two, three. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. I apologize. No more buttholes. Yeah, I don't believe you. Not for no more buttholes. Welcome to We're going to go ahead and seal up the buttholes on this. No more. Just like this, like you get out. I'm never going to stop giving you uh, food with toothpaste in it. That's what I'm saying. Wait, no. Never mind. Yeah. Next up, we got Toxic taking on the returning tag team of the Fallen. Reality of Fate. Rumor has it, they've been in They went on the cir independent circuit, 
got themselves a little bit uh, little bit improved. Fate finally lost some weight and got in shape, so Good. Hey, let's see if they can actually bring something to the table this time. Toxic heading out first. Toxic, as dominant as they are, I still can't believe that whole situation with Matilda. That was nuts. Matilda's a badass. Man. You know, one thing is, is a grip of on. As good as this guy is, his first match is against Super Snake. Come on, man. I, from what I understand, he requested more. People are leery. People are leery. Not many people want to face him. Well. Well, He's the definition of the unknown. Well, on Inferno next week, Skills stepped up. Yep, Skills did step up. But I'm, you know, yeah, what are you going to do? I don't think anybody wanted to be the first one to fall is what I think it is. Yeah. Except for Super Snake because he's going to fall. Super Snake. Well, at least we get to see him through his hips. Oh, yeah. You hear that funk? Oh yeah, he's gonna move them hips. Our, our snakes got hips. The baby. hips don't lie, baby. Yeah, we so know what we're talking about. You can't, you can't fake the funk around here, Matt Funk. That's right. I'm calling you out, boy. And if you ever want to do commentary, you just let us know because nobody else does. That's right. And here come. Oh, that's a little bit different look for those two. I hope he doesn't come beat us up. Now Matt Funk would beat us up instantly. Please don't do that. Sorry, sirs. We're just talking trash. These guys, they look a little bit better than when yeah, they left. I feel tougher. I, t I feel tough behind this announce table. Yeah, me too, but I'm not tough in real life. No. I am old, weak, and slow, ladies and gentlemen. Got a fade in there, slapping reality's titty for a minute before they get in the ring. You said titty. <laughs> sorry, sirs. You know that's, I hate that word. I'm sorry. What are you going to say next, Becker? <laughs> Kick the man to Packer! Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, these guys do look a lot better though. They do. They look they like went, they're in they shape. Went to the, they went to the gym. Looks like. Hopefully, their matches are a little bit more. Reality, reality went over to him and said, "Call me." He did. He did. He wants you to call. Yeah. If you're interested in calling, don't comment down below. We don't do that. We don't hand out personal information. Yeah. It's disrespectful. You don't do that. And we're going to start off with Fate. Not very impressive last time he was here, but let's see what he does now. Lock up. Acid. Oh, just choking away. Oh, yeah. These guys, they're ruthless. That Matilda thing, that was definitely... Wake-up call. Wow. Yeah. Because these two, these guys have been insanely... You know, they... Uh, I don't even know what yeah, How tough say. is she then? Jeez. That's what I'm saying. But they also might not want to... Hit a woman, too, you know? That's true. That's true. Nice snap suplex there by Acid on re or Fate. Fate back up. They're not getting much offense in off the bat, though. Oh, there we go. Big elbow to the face. Grabs him, whips him into the other corner. Smart move. Oh, yes. Grabs him. Working on that arm. Surprised she's not counting there. Little, yeah. That's a legal move there. That's what I was thinking. Oh, shoulder blocks into the corner. Smart, smart. Uh-oh, I, I hate this move. Ouch. That has got to hurt, especially with all his little back gear. Okay, Dorian. I just got a freaking uh, text message from Hazel. What'd she say? Ooh, it's a, it's official. We are going to shut down the week after hell and Halloween to get ready for the new... Formats and everything, so we'll start on the chaos. I'm a fan. Not only that, she added to it. Okay. After every PLE, instead of doing a chaos or whatever it is now, uh, Bedlam, Bedlam and Onslaught. Onslaught, the week after a PLE, we're gonna do just one show that week. And the week after, we're gonna do it on a Wednesday, and it will. She said that we'll. Uh, Come up with a name at a later date for it. Okay. So uh, on that week, we'll just do one show. Get a couple of days off for rest, then a Wednesday show. That way we're not doing two shows on the week after a PLE. I like that, too. So, are you, are you okay with that, Dorian? I'm down. So that's going to that's gonna help us out a lot, a lot around here. I agree. So, so going forward, 
I am digging after, it. After No Surrender, after Hell and Halloween. Ooh, very nice by reality. There's always going to be a week off. Yeah. Those two shows. And then after that, we go back uh, after every other PLE. We just do one show during the week, and it'll be a different name. I like it. It'll be just once a month we do that. So. I'm putting my vote in for Aftermath. Aftermath? Yeah, let's do Aftermath. Okay, I like it. Comment down below. Wednesday after like Aftermath. Wednesday Aftermath. Only after a PLE. There'll be 12 shows a year called Aftermath. I like that. Actually, because of the two, uh, 10 times a year. Yep. So, not many, but it's, it's enough. And it gives us a break from, and our competitors a break, too. Absolutely. Because we put a lot into PLEs around here, people. Yes, we that do. That week after, the, that's rough. Yes, it is. So, to just do one show would be huge. I mean, you're talking before, we were doing, in a two-week span, we were doing five shows. Yeah, so. I mean, that's that's a lot. Dropping that boom well, right across his breasticles. Got another text. Uh-oh. She approves. Aftermath it is. Nice. So. I'm digging it. Look at us solving the world's problems. I like it. Uh, Hazel, if you're listening, we both want a million dollars. You know she's listening. That's the great thing about it. Is we just have a connection. She's she's listening to us back in the back. And everything we say, she immediately answers. And she, she does an amazing job. Yeah, she either emails or texts us immediately. I am a fan. And it gives us, yes. She does better than Jack Tunney. I agree. For all you uh, youngins. He was the old school commissioner of the WWF then. Back in the way, way back in yes. the day. Yes. Whenever you see, ever, ever you see Jack Tunney, you knew something was going down. Yes, it was. Speaking of going down. Gay guy around? No. Oh. No, no. One. Two. Two. Speaking of going down, uh, it was announced that the Queens will be a part of that WWA Tag Team Battle Royal. Oh, jeez. And I was kind of here, uh, I was kind of iffy on how that was going to work. Hazel explained it to me that basically, let's say Toxic's in there. Biohazard gets eliminated. If Acid makes to the end and wins, Biohazard still wins that. So you got two times to get those belts. You know, two chances. That's pretty good. I think that's solid. Yes. I'm digging it. And another reason I came up with uh, the week after Halloween off, not only is it good for the competitors, it's good for our voices. That's also election week. Oh. And we need everybody to get out and vote and do their job. And Please do. We need to concentrate on that. You know? So, no wrestling that week. Yeah. That's election week. Get out and vote. Make and sure do- you write in Dorian Wolf and or Sean Archer. Yes. For president and vice president. Yes. We're down. We will, Uh-oh. We will change Ooh, this country, nice baby. Power slam. Fate coming in to break it up. Ice cream bars for everybody. I'm a fan. But the WWE ice cream bar is not a chance. No, we're going to have our own. Hell yeah. Everybody wants a okay. ice cream bar with Let's Michael Moore on the front. Morgan. That's right. Reality up. Ooh. Takes that double axe hand and goes right back down. But yeah, you know, we what people need to be, you know, on Tuesday nights, our ratings is for, uh, Ooh, you nice. know, well, we don't have, you know, we have chaos, but, but, you know, that people aren't going to be, you know, wanting to watch wrestling that week. Absolutely. That, that week's all about our country. Yeah. So, it's just a good time to take the week off. I agree with that. I'm good with it. Yeah. And not only that, but... We need to figure out, for some reason, people are loving chaos and turning in. Tuning in, sorry. Yeah. Man, look at this move. Ooh, vicious. But for some reason, Inferno's numbers aren't up there. So if you guys want us to make a couple changes to Inferno or the Thursday show, which will be on slot after Hell and Halloween, comment down below. Give us some suggestions on what you want to see. We want to make sure you guys are tuning in because we're having a blast. Maybe it's the day of the week. I don't know. Could be. Is Thursday an issue? Comment below. Yeah. It's funny. We started off with the comment below as a joke, but it actually comes in pretty handy. It does. It. Reality picking up Biohazard, whipping him into the ring. But ladies and gentlemen, 
Yo, you don't have to watch it on Thursday. It's up there permanently. Oh, yeah. You can watch it the next Monday if you want, if that's the day you like to watch wrestling. Absolutely. You know, so you don't have to just watch it that day. Watch it on a Tuesday. Yeah. So. Anytime, really. But they're bo- both shows are great. Or if you got Thursday night football on and it's like the Patriots and the Jets, nobody wants to watch that crap. No. You turn it in and watch this. Yeah. Or watch it on Friday. Or watch Absolutely. it on, yeah, watch it on the next, yeah. Watch it next week. Lock up. Whips him into, no, he's going to take him over there. What's he going to do here? And if you want us to switch to, to Wednesdays, Ooh. we'll have a talk with our, you know, because we're going to have different rosters, so no one will get worn out that way. Oh, absolutely. So if we, if we need to switch these uh, in front of the Wednesday, we can do that too. Absolutely. We can do what we want around here, baby. Absolutely. That's how things the, the, go. The boss loves us. And we want you guys enjoying it and tuning in all the time. So whatever we can do to make it happen, let's do it. Yeah. Man, that is a vicious move. I mean, he is putting the boots to him. I'm, I'm impressed with these guys. Me too. I really did not expect much coming from reality and faith, but it's a lot better than I expected. They're holding their own against Toxic, and that's that's a big task in itself. Well, they obviously went somewhere and got in shape and worked on their skills. Yes, they did. They got better costumes, too, which is a big plus. Looked like some rancid turds before. Oh, I don't know if that's yes, a Yes, definitely. Move. Definitely comment down below and let us know if you want this to be on a different day than Thursday. Picks them up. What the heck is that? If you want us to tape delay it and put them both on Monday, we'll do it for you. I don't Absolutely. care. Absolutely. You know? Big body slam. We want you to watch. Absolutely. And we want you to enjoy it. So if you you know if you need more Super Snake, let us know. Yeah. If you need more Fallen, Toxic, let us know. If you need more uh Queens, let us know. I will shoot you. What? Right in the head. Oh come on, you won't do that to me. I will. If you're, if you're a fan out there and you want if you want more queens, you're stupid. Hey, they are competitors in and of themselves. Whatever. You're I'll, just mad because you don't like the cold purple. I'll come to your house and smack you right across the face if you watch them. You just watched them last week. No, I did not. You had to. You I didn't want I didn't want to. But you did. So? Man, it's my, it's my job to watch them. I get paid to do this. I don't know if Taunton Bio has a smart move on no. this corner. Well, maybe get a little cocky here. Oh, nope. what are you gonna go for? This is not gonna be Pile good. driver. Oh, oh, that could be it right there. It could be. I think that they covered. Got little, he got a little carried away on that. One, One two, two, three. Oh, yeah. he got a little bit carried away. Got a little bit cocky. Hey, they did. They put up a good showing, though. Yes, they did. I, I can't wait for the next match. Oh, gosh. No. Oh, you're going to love it. Super Snake versus Grip of On. Yeah. I'm telling you, after watching these guys' tapes, or this guy's tapes, I'm amped. I can't wait. I mean, this guy. The thing is, though, do we notice something about Super Snake? Is he looks ridiculous, but he doesn't have some decent wrestling moves. Yes, he does. He's not like a pushover. Yeah. You know, he don't win a lot, but he's not bad. If it, we could just get him to the point where he quits copying people's Friggin' promos. I can't. That's annoying. Well, we've got to do the little, the little hip thing. Ooh, black and red this week. Oh, there it is. You see, see, see that funk? Yeah. What does that look like to you, buddy? That looks like a hip to me. It looks a little hippie ish. Hips don't lie, baby. Well, then again, maybe he's just a slippery hip. He's just slippery as the thing he's doing. Yeah, that's what it is. You never know. You never, never know. Yeah. Super Snake. I'm really shocked he took this match. I can't believe he's, he's got the courage, man. He's got the balls. Yeah. I mean, I've not many, not many brains so, oh, to take this match on. I can't believe we got this Grippa Bond in the PWA, WWA now. I cannot either. Hazel pulled. <coughs> I think, I think Hazel is showing people how she runs things and I think that's what's locking stuff like this in. Yeah. You know, people are impressed around here. We're impressed with how Hazel runs it. Yeah. 
Yeah, this guy right here, like I said, man, this is... He's a champion of champions. Yeah, he makes me a little bit nervous. Look at that belt. He's melted that belt down from all of his other belts. And look at all those countries on the side of it, too. Man, this guy, he is... When you talk about... When you talk about, like, a universal-type champion, that's him right there. That's a real universal champion. That guy, he has fought everywhere. Is that what this is going to be called, the Universal? No, um, I don't know. I think that might be smart. Holding that belt up. Yeah. These fans are going nuts. They're yeah, as excited I, yeah, as I think, that's what it, I think that's what it's going to be called, then. I'm a fan. Universal. And you can't get more Universal than this belt. No. Look at really all those can. countries on there. He's That's winning. not even half of them. No, he's sure. one from everywhere, you know? I can't believe the guy's been on the field this long. And he doesn't, like he, don't get me wrong, he's in shape and he looks great. But he doesn't look like somebody that's just going to annihilate you. That's the crazy I part. just don't know how, yeah, he just wins all the time. I mean, it's, he's, he's definitely a student of the game, I tell you that. He is absolutely impressive. Holding that belt up again. And that's, that belt is an accomplishment. It is. I don't think Toxic and Bio, or I don't think Biohazard and Acid realized who they were talking to that day. All right, the question is, is 12, he's held that belt for what, 12 years now? Mm-hmm. Look at that. Blue Hell's going to take that off him here. I, I hate to say it, I love our competitors, I don't see anybody doing it. And no one wants to step up to him, looks like. Nope. Everybody, I don't want to say scared, but that's what it comes across like. Yeah. I mean, I'm not one to, I, I definitely, I'm not stepping up. So I don't knock anybody for not, but it's going to be difficult. Yeah. Let's see what he does here to Super Snake. Comes right in. Ooh, kick to the good, punch the face. Man, Super Snake's trying. You got to give him that much. Yeah. But the thing I noticed about watching this guy's tapes, though, is he'll take a beating. He'll take a beating, and it's almost like he's absorbing every little bit of knowledge he can get from his competitor. It's really, it's unlike, I haven't seen it very often. I've seen great competitors, but nothing like this guy. I've uh, also got another email here. She's got to give us the million? No. Uh, she's a, she's a million monopoly money. All right. But no, uh, this kid ruffles some feathers. Okay. She's like, uh, for hell on Halloween. She's uh, considering, because this guy is so worldwide known and his belt's so prestigious, she's thinking about making him the main event of Hell and Halloween. Really? Really? Wow. It which, would make sense. Would you know who that would bump? Yes, it would. That would not be a smart move. And thus, oh my gosh. So we're... She said she's thinking about it right now, but I I don't know if that's such a great idea, but if that's what the boss says, that's what she gets. Yeah. She brought him in for a reason. Yeah. Absolutely. Know? And you I mean She wants the attention on him. And look at the crowd. You know the guy's a draw. Yeah. So I don't think any promotion has been able to keep him very long. No. The question is, is you know, what if he decides that he's going after the PWA title? Or the WWA title? Is he just going to start collecting those and adding them to the uh, Universal I, belt? I hope not. I mean, he could just wipe out every belt. Didn't look that way. That would be bad for a lot of the competitors around here. Stopping in the group. Stopping the group. Picking them up. <laughs> Kicking the group. Oh, man. So, I will say... I'm impressed with Super Snake right now. I did not think he was going to bring this level. Yes. But it's a, I mean, it's a smart play. It is. Like I said. Doing the basketball dribble. But the thing is, is, you know, this could be part of this guy's strategy. Uh oh There we go. Waited for that one wrong move. You've got to be kidding me. One, two, two three. three. That's exactly what we were just talking about. That's why he's undefeated. That's exactly. He's just there waiting for you to make a mistake. I mean, the guy's like he a makes, viper. He doesn't make any mistakes. That's the, no. Yeah. Wow. It's like he'll take that ass whooping just to see where you're going from there. Yes. Man, I'm I'm a big fan. I can't wait. 
I want to see. I want to see more. Me too. You know those. And watching those tapes and watching it live does not do him justice. I tell you that. Look not at, at all. That. Pointing out to the crowd. They're behind him too. Got their hands in the air for him, clapping and waving. I think this was a good call on Hazel's part. Yes, it is. And now we have U.S. title match. Okay. Zombie versus Brick. That could be a good match. Absolutely. Brick might be in a little bit of danger here, losing that belt. Going to get somebody the caliber of Zombie. We are gonna, we we're gonna find out. Zombie making his way out. Oh, oh, oh. He doesn't have sub lock on the back of his jacket yet. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we'll just have to see how this plays out. I'm kind of interested. Me too. But I, I tell you, these guys started hanging out with cell block, and I can't get enough of cell block. These guys are awesome. Yeah, they are. Boz worries me a little bit, but I think he always has. Yeah, but I like him now better than I ever did. It was 140. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's—I think he's finally being himself. Yeah. Yeah, I like him better as zombie than I did with Exodus too. Me too. I like you better when you were Virginia Wolf. Me too. Wait, what? Nothing. I'm not Virginia Wolf. You sure about that? Yes. Okay. Isn't that your sister? No, it's my cousin. Oh. And you didn't know your own cousin was. Working in jail? I don't pay attention to her. I, mean, I thought you guys were close. No. You know, like, swap spinach Thanksgiving? No, I mean, like, just because we kissed that time doesn't mean that we're, like, close close. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Didn't you, like, touch her body parts? No. I think you did. No, I didn't. She wouldn't let me. So you tried. Rick on his way out there, sporting that black and green, a lot different than that black and white look. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I tried. Okay. Could be. He's on his way out. He's he's done pretty. He did pretty well during that uh, tournament. I was pretty impressed with him during that tournament. I didn't think that he was going to take it. No, he, I like that. You're right. I like this outfit. It's snazzy. I think it fits him a little bit better than wearing the same thing as Bradley. Yeah. Speaking of Bradley, he's been a little bit absent lately. Yeah, has to take a real fall down. He's trying to get a little taller. Just kidding. Just kidding, Bradley. What if he does get taller? What if he did? Yeah. That's put, a some put some lifts in his shoes? Could be. Maybe he's just not done growing. Maybe. You never know, ladies and gentlemen. U.S. title on the line. Who you got in this one? Um, I got Zombie. You got Zombie? Yeah. All right, I'll go with Brick. But it's, as usual, it's one of those coin flip. What could be either one of them? Yeah, the coin, I call the coin flip match. It's like, put the coin. I mean, Britt could still be going high on that momentum from I, winning that tournament. I wouldn't be surprised either way with any of them. Me either. I am looking forward to seeing who wins. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be a good match. That's what I care about. I like matches like this where either way it don't shock you. Yep. You know, like it's, it's that even. All I want is a good match. I don't like I don't like this matches. You know, I like a nice even. Uh, yeah, you have no clue who's gonna win. Yep. You put in somebody like Super Snake against the Grip of On, like we just saw. We were pretty sure who was gonna win that one. But honestly, you put a Grip of On against anybody, it might be a mess match. Looks like. Yeah, I I don't doubt that at all. I, I don't I don't doubt that any, a lot of our guys can hang with the guy, but I don't know if anybody can beat him. Yeah. Because it's. You know, it's I, 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 I was looking at his. Uh, I'll be tearing right into it. Well, Grip I went back and looked at his uh, a lot of his old tapes and stuff. It's uh, nuts. A lot of people can they they, they go toe to toe with him, but no one can beat him. It's because he's uh, he plays mistake free the whole the whole time, he, and he waits for you to make that one mistake, and then he it's, it lights out. That's exactly like what he just did with Super Snake. Yeah, and it uh, cost him. Hammering away, stopping away. Ooh, big kick to the face by Brick. Well, who does that remind you of, though? Who does that remind me of? 
guy that sits back and lets you make a mistake. Ooh, interesting. You don't think we'll see them two going at it, do you? I don't know. I don't think Austin's that good. I was talking about Danny Moe. Oh, I was talking about Austin. I'm talking about Danny Moe. Oh, I'm talking about Austin James. Austin James, very, he's very strategic also, but Austin also doesn't want to take a fight that he knows he won't win. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. I'm, it's not just Austin. I'm curious, you know, where Ruby's at in the whole equation. Yeah. You know, I think the... Well, the thing is, Ruby and, Ruby and Austin don't give two craps about this guy. But if he starts taking away their shine, oh, they're, yeah. they're going to they're gonna care. Absolutely. Because they're both egomaniacs. Absolutely. Well, that, that, that's one thing I can say about OCJ that I think is to his benefit. OCJ don't have an ego. He's got a little bit of a one. A healthy, it's a healthy one to make it good. But it's not so bad that it is, he obsesses about it, you know? And and I think that, that I think that benefits him at times. Sometimes I think it hurts him, you know? I agree. I think that he can lose it. I think that he can lose his confidence really easy, like we've talked about before. Yeah, but uh we got here. Ooh, but there's no doubt that Austin and Ruby are the, the biggest egos I've ever seen in this business. Oh, absolutely. I don't think, I don't think anything, but I don't think anybody else is close. No. Now, we've seen some egos, though. Just not like that. Not like these. And, and they're really not always bad egos. They're just, you know, they're, I, think, I, I don't know. I just think they're obsessed with being the best. I agree. And, uh, and and it brings out the worst. Oh, it brings out the worst. Oh, oh, whoa. Did you see that? Yeah. Knee to the face by Brick. Oh. Oh, there's a... It's just like with Ruby. Uh-oh. Oh. I didn't expect Brick to have the belt. He don't, he don't want that 4 2 run belt. No. He just wants to make OZJ miserable. Yeah, that's all. That's why, you know, he destroyed it. Look it's, at what he did. It's mind games, man. That's all he cares about. Rope break. That's not a good sign for Brick. What are they going to put up there at, at a, uh, Hell on Halloween then? Oh, they're going to put that belt up there. From what I understand, OCJ, the challenge he laid out, if I if I heard him correctly, was he wants that belt for Ruby, and if he doesn't get that belt, he's gone. Wow. Will and OCJ said, I'm out. <laughs> so... We'll be seeing that belt around OCJ's waist, I'm sure, because I don't, I don't see him being gone from the PWA anytime soon. Oh yeah. So he must have a trick up his sleeve for Ruby. Yeah, Ruby. Yeah, Ruby is taking a lot of pleasure in this. You know he does. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, OC, OCJ has four to one belt. He did that for fun for the fans. Mm -hmm. But Ruby destroying it. That, Ruby. that was solely just. Oh, Ruby to push balls. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't care about a scum of the earth belt. He only made it so that he could defend the he, 41 belt. He just wants. He likes playing mind games. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. Go. Okay. Zombie fighting out. Rick. Rick. Hey, Rick Bucks. Rick is actually he impressing me in this match. Yeah, he is. Missed that big boot. Both of them really. Because I think both of these guys have scouted each other. Because I've seen a lot of reverses. And they're both hungry. You know? Because now, you know, as the zombie, he's no longer Exodus. He's got, he's got a lot of food now. Yes, he does. So we're jacking with that guillotine. There are sneak eyes. Sorry. Sneak eyes into the corner. Choking Yo, and this, this, this far in the game, changing up your whole persona, Sometimes it's career suicide. Absolutely. He took a big chance doing it. Yes, he did. Two, three. three. Rick goes and retains the U.S. title. Yeah. So he did. That was awesome. Good match, though. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the next match. Yeah. The next, well, the next match is going to be great. It's going to be Nava State versus Matilda. But after that, you seen the main event, right? Yeah, I did. That number one contenders match. I cannot wait to see that. That's what we're waiting on to find out the last match for Hell on Halloween, if I'm not mistaken. What's the number one contenders match for what? This is for the uh, PWA World Title, or World Tag Team Titles, I apologize. Yeah. At uh, Hell on Halloween. It's going to be the 
the uh, Scum Dogs, CJ Otis and May Abrams, there's Impeccable, Roman Skills, there's Forsaken, there's Jester, there's Checkmate, JT and Fatal. Alright. So I'm pretty pretty amped to see who's gonna take that one. Me too. I think I think any of them would be a solid match against the Butchers, but didn't Nomad step up to face uh No, it was uh Luke. Yeah, Luke. Luke stepped up to face the Ripperbot at uh Oh Halloween. Halloween. That's big. That is very big. I'm impressed. You know, that that takes a lot of courage. Yes, it does. You know, maybe Luke's got a trick up his sleeve. We shall see. It'd be a nice win for Luke. That'd be his first world title. Well, universal title. Yes. But I mean, that's a hell of a hell of a title to start with, don't you think? Yes, it is. We haven't seen that state in a while, have we? No. I'm kind of nervous for her, though, going in there against Matilda. Matilda's a beast. Yes, she is. She makes me nervous. Right now, the only person I can see matching up with Matilda is Taylor. Taylor May. Oh, yeah, that would be a hell of a match. I cannot wait. What if Malastain takes this from Matilda? I mean, that would solidify her at the very top. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, did, uh, did you happen to see that uh, promo Austin put out on the 4th? Wow. What the heck? Yeah, I told you, man. Something's coming, man. I'm nervous about it myself. Yeah. Mr. Fuji bringing out his... Uh, I don't think... Uh, I think Austin's not playing no more. I'm nervous. Yeah. You know, after what you told me, and after his promo, and even looking back at the promo that he cut right before Hell's Forecast, yeah. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure what he's got up his sleeve, but I don't think it's good. Yeah, we're, uh, it's craziness, man, between that and what Ruby and OCJ going back and forth, man. It's... Man, those guys, they're going nuts. Yeah. I mean, knocking houses down, burning stuff down, and, I, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. And I don't know who to pick between Real Deal and Fletcher, like, that's like, I don't know who's going to win that thing, man. It could, it could go either way. I will say this. They're both planning on it. I think Butcher needs it more. I agree. Real Deal is established as one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. You know, if you, want, if you put up a Mount Rushmore, Real Deal is going to be on it. Yeah. Fletcher's not on that Mount Rushmore. So Fletcher needs this more than Real Deal does. He needs to knock Real Deal off so that he can be on that. And on same that. thing with, uh, I believe, same thing with ABA. Absolutely. ABA needs that more than Austin needs it. Yes, he does. So, and I think OCJ needs it more than Ruby needs it. So I agree. We got three people that need it way more. And who's that? Who, who's the advantage to? Is that is that just too much pressure on the person that needs it more, or or is that, is that mean they're more? There's they got more of a drive to them. You know? I don't know. We will find out. Yes, we will. I'm looking forward. There's not one match I'm disappointed that's coming. No, but, but yeah, but you got you talking about you think about that's Ooh, three people. Slam. Look at that man. That's three people though that really need a victory there. Absolutely. And that's pressure, dude. That's, that's a lot of pressure. Man, that, that's how big she is. She's stepping over the top rope. Yeah, she's a monster, man. Jeez. Oh, see, that was smart. She knew Namaste was too far away. Yep. And she don't need to do that nut stuff anyway. No. Oh, there's my favorite move of all time. Yes, it is. Electric chair, baby. Man, she is massive. Yeah. Jeez. But, but you're right. You know, it's, it's one of those things where... Is it because, you know, is it going to toy with them in the end and make them come up with a loss? Or is it going to be that encouragement that makes them come up with the victory? They might be hungry. Absolutely. So it's... Hey, One, the thing about two, it, too... Three. three. Yeah, that, she makes sure Well, pressure does two things. It makes diamonds and it busts pipes. Yes, it does. So, we'll figure out which one it is for those guys. Yep. Man, look, she, this is nuts, man. How is she back? Who's she facing? How on Halloween? Oh, she's facing, uh, from what I understand, 
I could be wrong. Rumor has it, Destiny James is cashing in her title shot against Gypsy. I want to see that match. That one would be awesome. If anyone can do it, it would be her. Look at these guys coming out as scum dogs. That's, those are some sharp, sharp outfits, though, baby. Look at that. Yeah. That red down the side and the black. That's, that pops. Yeah, I like that. Does. That's unique. These guys, they've done really good as a tag team, but they've got a little bit of a killer instinct. I was kind of leery at first. That's a, that's a really nice twist. That's a, like a twist to the, you know, the outfit. Yeah. Something new. I like that. I'm, I'm really digging that. Me too. Me too. What we got coming out? Well, see, look at that. These guys, they're ready. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm throwing it out there now. Scum dogs, they're taking it. Hunger, they're, hunger, and pressure. Yeah. Here comes which, which one wins out? True. You know. Uh, and Impeccable's a solid team, too. Yeah. I, that's the one I'm picking. Impeccable? Okay. Young and Skills, I mean, that's, that's a damn good tag team. I'm picking them to win the whole thing. These guys are great competitors, especially when you put them together. They, I, they I heard Young and Cast Out Pizza. So they're gonna win. Okay. Uh, okay. I heard that rumor. Yeah. Rumor has it. Hey, that should be my favorite. Forsaken and Checkmate still coming out. Yeah. Forsaken, those guys creep me out. I wouldn't... Man, could you imagine that match? Forsaken against the, uh, the Butchers? Yeah. That'd be vicious. I think it's going to be a tough one. But I don't really... Checkmate's going to be pretty decent, too. I like these guys. JT and Fatal, they've been hell of a good tag team. Ever since they were last sermon back in the day. I think they've done really well since stepping out of the shadow of a good old reverend there. I'll tell you though, like I said, some of these teams that keep changing stuff around though, they're going to pick a couple of them. Yeah. You keep changing, like I said, career suicide. Yep, that's true. They're like a wild fan, they don't even know who the heck you are. You know, they don't know your music, they don't know who you are, and they don't care no more. So. I don't disagree with them though, because being last sermon still was kind of. didn't make much sense. Hopefully they can stick to what they look to stick. I'm hoping so. That makes a pretty decent name for him, I think. I think so. These guys coming out next. I don't, I, you know, I think that, I don't even think Forsaken really cares about whether they get the t uh, chance to take the title. I think they're going to come out and try to hurt Checkmate. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm thinking Minister Payne sent them out and said destroy them. Yeah. If they, if, if they would focus on actually trying to win this match, to me, they'd be the favorites. Oh, absolutely. I mean, these guys are powerhouses. And they're nuts. Yes, they are. Quit walking around looking like that like they're nuts. Yeah. Like, look at him. Who is a girl like that, man? It creeps me out. Yeah. I mean, he's, you know, it's a good name for him. Yeah. He's whiter than a ghost. Look at that. Yes, he is. These guys, these Boy, guys sure the step out. up to the original, aren't they? Oh, man. You ain't kidding me. Those guys were a joke. Well, it's just like Ninja. Yeah. The new Ninja's done a hell of a good job. Yeah. I've been a big fan of... I've been a big fan of all the retreads, so to speak. Yeah. Now, can we actually uh, go out and find a real conflict? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. We still got the old convict and old inmate. Yeah, that convict. Kind of I think they're a hell of a lot better as cell block, though. Yeah. Remember when they were the nincompoops? Yes. I thought still, they were on their way out. You cell block. Is still convict, though? No, no. We need, we need a real convict. I don't, I don't think that's uh, too far-fetched. I think that's a very good possibility. Because the name was good. Mm -hmm. The guy just sucked. Yes, he did. Out there with a drill. We're going to do it with this testicle. Hey, you know, we're, 
pants with a hole where your testicle pops out. No, I don't want to see that. Well, it's the wall my ass. Guy was like 28 years old looking like he was 50. Was he really? Yeah. Are you serious? I, I really thought he was like in his 60s and shit. Wow. Well, hey. He looked old, didn't he? Yeah, well, I was. Yeah, I was. Sometimes there was bleak days for the PWA, oh, ladies and gentlemen. There wasn't the bleak days. There were some good days too, though. Oh, absolutely. There was. <coughs> Pardon me. It's, it's hotter than ever now. Oh, here goes skills. Nice. Ooh, very nice. You guys are all over. I can't even call a match like this. No, it's hard. There's just so much action going on. Mm -hmm. I, I think these are they're great matches, but they're more for us just to spectate. Is this elimination? No. Nope. First one on the pinfall, huh? One. Two count. Oh yeah. I try to I try to call the action inside the ring. That's where a pin to hit. So. Absolutely. Oh look at that. Oh fighting out of it. Yeah he is. Smart. Very smart. But it doesn't look good because right now Forsaken is the only one with both numbers in there. We gotta make this. Can we make these where oh, the, the rules are different? What do you what do you uh, like a like a real tag? Here. You got tag in partners, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It doesn't, uh, doesn't provide that option yet. So, kind of just stuck with all of them in there, beating on each other yeah. and whacking away. Picking up skills. Ooh, uh -oh. Ooh that was vicious. Thanks for the pin. He's going to make that an option. Oh, drop kick from there. I agree, she does need to make that option. I think she wants to. CJ Otis stuck in the corner. Oh, 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 man. How you can get a pinfall out of this mess? It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Look at that. Nice move for the young. CJ Otis over there. Ooh, dropping. Dropping Fatal face first. Oh, man. Oh, man. JT face first. Fatal's over there working on the young. Kicks him in the shoulder blades. We got both numbers of checkmate in there. One, two, two. Oh, only two, two count. See what it's, it's an advantage for the ones in there when they start spinning up because yeah. See right now is where you want to go for a pin. Absolutely. Everybody on the outside fighting. I'd be going for a cover right now. Absolutely. Come on, camera guy, get in the ring. Nothing can happen out here. We don't want to see this. We, I mean, we do. But yeah, but you can't get you can't get a victory out there. No. Unless it's called, unless it's called count anywhere. Yeah, I'm picking him up. Put him in. Ooh, tilt the world into a DDT. Very nice. Very nice. You can do that. Let's recover. One. Oh. Ooh, ouch. That was. Oh, Bert's fucking out. You folded CJ in something like that. That was nice. Wow. Ooh, big punch in the face. If anybody could take on two of these guys, it's going to be Ghost. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a monster, cool. man. Is Ghost in that dark side match? No, he is not. What about Jester? Uh, no. Nope. Big chokes on him. Nope, Jester's not either. That's right, they're a tag team, that's right. Yeah. yeah. They should, they're, they're dark side people. Yeah, they are. They're definitely from the dark side. They're, they're, yeah, they're my nightmares. If I looked under my bed and seen Jester, I'd be my pants. Me too. They're not my butthole. <laughs> Yeah, I did. That's oh, here comes JT. One, two. two. Oh, he didn't make it quick enough. Got the what? Forsaken is taking on the Butchers. Well, we said they wow. were. We said if they took it serious, they'd be the favorites. We yeah, were right. I guess they did. No. Yeah. I guess they did. Yeah. To me, those were the two dominant people. So absolutely. Do you, they're gonna take the Butchers? Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Oh match. my gosh, man! That match is going to be awesome. Hell on Halloween is looking better and better. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for chaos. We will see you on Inferno. Yes, Sean Archer will. has left the building. Inferno.